Alrighty, what I have for you to hear today is the DJI phone, tablet, and iPod mount. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use this DJI phone, iPad, etc. mount for your zero drone remote will it work we shall see the reason why I decided to look into another mount for this is because the mount that comes with the zero drone whether you have the original zero the zero uh, Explorer V or the G um, the mount extends from the top of the remote. I like that it's built in. The problem I have with this is the fact that my phone does not fit. Okay? If I take my case off, it still won't fit. I have to squeeze it in. I wasn't happy with that. So, what I looked into was mounts that may work for this application with the zero drawn remote. So what you have here is the part where your strap will go on, go on it. All right. So you can have it around your neck and don't drop it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this mount to actually install the DJI mount on the Zero Drone remote. Will it work? I'll tell you in advance, yes it will. So let's set this Zero remote aside. What you have in the package is you have a DJI strap, which is a nice, very nice strap. Very nice strap. Will I be using this strap? Not really for sure. Probably not because it may appear that I'm using a DJI strap with a zero drone. Okay? But, as you can see, we have the zero drone strap, neck strap. What I like about this one is you can disconnect it and still fly your drone if you don't want the strap around your neck but have it connected. But anyway, let's put the straps aside. So this strap comes in the package. Now this would definitely work with the DJI. That's what it's made for. But what I found out is that it will also work with your Zero Drone Remote so you don't have to use the extended mount built into it. And maybe your phone doesn't fit on here or maybe you want to use a tablet or an iPad with your Zero Drone. So what I'm going to do is let you know what comes in the package. You have a screwdriver flathead, a screwdriver type deal. You have four different size Allen keys. You have two, you have three Allen head screws, okay, you have three Allen head screws, one large, two small, you have two washers, one small, one big, you have the base plate for the mount itself, This is for your phone. The way you mount it, you flip it over, then it becomes for your iPad or your tablet. And this mount bolts here. Okay? I want to show you. Um, you also have a large screwdriver head screw that will actually bolt this to the tablet or phone mount itself or iPad same thing 
you have a Allen keyed or head stopper for your arm, the arm that extends. And you can position it different ways. And you also have the actual mount itself in which this mount here will mount to your strap hook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this aside. We're gonna bring the drone in. I mean, well, excuse me, not the drone correction, the uh, remote in. And the first thing you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do is get the actual first piece to mount. You wanna get the big washer, okay? You wanna get the large washer and you want to get one of the small allen key screws so let's set that over to the side so as you can see we have the mounting arm and set the mounting bracket so to speak itself we have the large washer and we have a smaller screw now it's pre-drilled through the other side so the allen key once it goes in it will be able to tighten down. Now, some people may be thinking, well, you have your home button on the Zero Drone, and if you mount it this way, as you can see, it restricts your ability to press the home button. Some of you may say, if you turn it around this way, will it work? Yes, if you turn it around this way, as you can see, I am still able to operate my speed controls. All right. So what we're going to do is what we're going to face this, face the remote towards you. You want to take the arm, I mean, well, the, let's call it a base plate. You want to take the washer, the short Allen key. You want to drop the washer into the allen key as such all right you want to find your proper size allen key which is actually second to the largest and as you can see we have it positioned the screw allen key washer that washer will recess in the big hole so you want to set that over there go on top of it you want to position it in, keep it steady, and you want to go ahead and get that screw down. All right, so let me get this tightened down. It's not very complicated at all. It's pretty easy. All right, so once you get it in position where you want it, you can go ahead and snug that down. That's not going anywhere. And this is what you end up with. All right? Next thing you want to do is you want to grab the arm. Now, this is actually the arm. It has a screw hole here in which you're going to use the stopper. This is a stopper so it doesn't, you know, move around. And it's Allen keyed as well. So you can take the Allen key that fit. All right. And you want to screw that in. It's easier to do it with your hand. For me at least. <laughs> so you want to screw that down you'll be able to adjust this later to the depth that you need it let's just get it in there all right so as you can see the stopper is there so now <clears throat> what you want to do is pick which hole you want that 
to be installed in. You can install it in the first hole, which would bring it back closer to you, or you can install it in the second hole. And in order to do that, you have the smaller washer. You want to install the smaller washer into whatever hole you decide you want to use. I'm going to install it in the one further back away from me. So as you can see, the washer is in there. And that's to keep it snug in place so it doesn't shift around. It's a very sturdy drone mount foam mount. So then you want to take the other short screw, get your proper Allen key, alright, and you want to install the mount, well the arm, excuse me, towards you. We have to come from this side. And you want to line it up with the hole on the washer. and secure it. So get it screwed down snug. Of course you will be able to adjust it later to the angle that you want. And what you end up with is something like this. As you can see, I still can reach up and operate my speed controls. It's not in the way. I still can use my home button all right next step is you want to take the base plate mount and the base plate mount you want to mount it facing you okay so the base plate to mount it you need the larger allen key screw Grab your Allen key. Grab your Allen key. Grab your base plate. And proceed to screw this down. And again, you don't I have to put it in any specific uh, orientation right now. But get it approximate to about approximate to about where you want it. And just snug it down. You can adjust it later. So it's snug down. And what you end up is something like this. Alright? The next step, and the reason why you don't want to snug it down too tight, because you need to push it up in order to get the mount itself, the phone holder mount itself on there. So if you are going to use the phone, as you can see, if I flip it this way, it'll be able to accept the iPad if I flip it this way, it'll be able to set the phone. So what I'm going to do is for now set it for the phone. So as you can see, there's a screw hole in the bottom. I'm going to hold this on there. I'm going to line it up. Go ahead and get it screwed on there like that. Take your screwdriver key 
flat head and you want to go ahead and tighten that down. Get that snug. Now it's wobbling right now. That's because the base isn't um, tight. So now what you want to do, seems like a decent position for the mount. So I'm okay with that. So what you want to do is go back in on the base plate. go ahead and snug it down. And if you wanted to, for instance, if you wanted to come a little more forward, that's what the stopper is for. You can back up, back it off. And it'll go forward. You can back it off some more. It'll go forward. You can back it off some more. Or all the way out. It'll go forward. Depending on how you hold it. But I want mine to be, I'd say, about that position. Uh, yeah. I want mine to be about in that position. So let's go ahead and screw this back down. It's all based on your uh, angle preference. All right, that's fine. So it don't move forward. And what you want to do so it doesn't go backwards is you want to go ahead and now snug down this one. This one right here. Don't over tighten it because you'll strip it. So that's fine. And what you have now is a, D, uh, is a zero drone with a phone, iPad, uh, phone slash iPad mount. Now, this is for the phone. So let me show you what it looks like once it's on there. There you have it. And you can control your drone like that. All right. And also, if you want to use an iPad, which I haven't, uh, or a tablet, which I haven't purchased one yet, what you would do is you would loosen that screw and you will turn this. You will flip it. And then you'll be able to use the iPad mount all right so there you have it you have the DJI you have the DJI phone iPad tablet mount mounted to the Zero Explorer drone Plenty of room to change my settings, my speed settings. Plenty of room for my home button, etc. <clears throat> my joysticks. And you no longer now have to use the extended mount for your drone.
or a four-year drum.